I was introduced to jiu-jitsu over 15 years ago when I saw a skinny Brazilian dude choke out a pharmaceutical grade superhero in 57 seconds. Since then, I've studied with some of the best instructors on earth, but it wasn't until I trained with Eddie Bravo that I realized jiu-jitsu is way more than a world. It's an entire universe. Follow me as I navigate the twisters and turns of jiu-jitsu on the 10th planet. My name is Jason Eisner, and this is Mastering the System. Deca, D-Ball, Winnie, some shit called uh, Bomba. Bomba? Let me play for keeps. LAPD. Hey, who's the new guy? That's Ray's new partner, Tony Bravo. How are you a cop without a gun? My hands are registered as deadly weapons. Oh. Dude, Billy Jack is the sh. He's a cowboy who does karate. Continue. I was getting really worried. Miss Tate, back up a little bit to when I first met Flavio. And now for a Matt Horwich Minute. Good story? Well, I was, uh, so I was going to Seattle, and then first of all, the Greyhound broke down, and then the Greyhound that picked me up from the broken down Greyhound broke down as well alongside the road to start the trip. And then it was a great trip, hanging out and everything. And then my friend TJ had like a couple whiskeys, and, uh, like some wine and got all pissed. I didn't want to go on a boat trip and just wanted to hang out the next day and went throwing down on me. So he uh, got in deep on a double leg and I wait grabbed Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you, uh, in case you're lost, Matt Horwich took a couple week trip up north, back home to Portland and, and Seattle, right? Yeah. Worked to work on stand up with Maury Smith to meet you. You were at 10th Planet Portland. You taught a couple classes. That's the story. Back up a little bit, I'm lost. Yeah, it was a great trip. Uh, John Salami, everyone at the 10th Planet of Portland was great. Uh, good friends, good vibes. Got some good work in with Maury Smith and Ivan Solibary, good friends and good training. So anyway, he gets pissed off I didn't want to go on the boat trip and gets into a bunch of whiskey and wine and the Jackal and Hyde comes out. So he, uh, Decided to go throwing down on me like you say you're gonna go and don't want to go and uh, Got in deep on a double leg. So I like threw on a Marcelo guillotine. Oh, no And uh, choked him out and let go right when he was out and everything and so he went out and this was on a boat No, this was because I didn't want to go on the boat trip on the and beach. He really wanted to go and I just wanted to hang out now It was the night before when okay. we were we were hanging out with some friends at the park um, I had like probably a glass of wine's worth, but I was sober. And he uh, got all, he had like the two whiskeys before with friends and everything. And, and what is he trying to team quest or something? Who was this? No, nah, he fought for Dennis Holman before. Okay, and so, so he had a couple amateur fights and stuff. Okay. 
So anyway, the jackal and hide comes out. I choked him out with the guillotine because he got in deep on the shot. And uh, <laughs> so then he woke up wanting to fight me again. So then I uh, put on the go-go plata, and he wasn't going out from the go-go plata. Wait, 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 wait. He took you down. He wanted to go again, and then he took you down, or you pulled guard? Uh, I think he shot in again, and I was like, okay, whatever, and pulled, hooked the arm, pulled my leg over, went to the go-go plata, and then he's tapping like bongos, and I was waiting for him to go out, and he wasn't going out. So then I just gave up and was like, all right, whatever, get off of me. So then uh, he was, got all steamed about it, and he's like, I never want to talk to you again. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, and went walking <laughs> up the hill. So then this didn't help my cause for going back to Seattle to hang out and train, because he called and left my wife a bunch of messages uh, saying uh, he wants to kill me and this and that, <laughs> which uh, I don't hold against him because he drank a bunch of whiskey. <laughs> So my wife was all freaked out and saying, he called saying he wants to kill you and this and that. And I'm like, oh. I told her, you know, if somebody wants to kill me, usually they're not going to call my wife and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's was how the end. Shit right there. Then I take the Greyhound back. The Greyhound forgets to have a driver in Reading and we're stuck there for six hours. I get back at five in the morning. But it was worth all that shit. It was a great trip, uh, good vibes and good training and everything. So that's how my trip went. It was like planes, trains, and automobiles too, starring me or something. Greyhounds breaking down, Greyhounds picking me up from the broken down one, breaking down further up the road. And Those aren't pillows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Last day of the cycle. We're working our weak side. Stops. Guy on top has head and arm. We can't get the underhooks back. We got a lockdown in. We're trying to. It would be nice if I could get the underhooks in and work my underhook half guard game, but I can't. He's too tight here. All right. <clears throat> so always remember to. Minimize his passing ability here. Blocking the knee, I love blocking the knee. You can block the hip here. Keep him nice and low, because he's gonna try to go no hand pass on you. Keep the pimp arm strong. Overhook and advance.
continuing to work on our butterflies, but on the strong side, all right? And this is a sweep, this is a sweep I rarely teach because there really isn't a setup. You're basically just capitalizing on a bonehead move that the guy on the bottom is making. I got the underhooks. We're gonna fight for the underhooks. We're gonna go over um, Jaws of Life, fight for the underhooks. Now I'm thinking about electric chairs. I'm thinking about getting to the dog fight or twist back or getting a full guard. Got my underhook. Yeah, yeah. This dude wanna make some scrumptious ass sex with Vinny. Who got a boner up in here? The motherfucking Hanato saga continues. A energia tem ser boa. You understand, my brother? Yeah, I understand. I kind of understood, yeah. Right now, we're gonna speak English for the people out there. For a lot of people, you have millions of fans. Not you have, but I have. You have fans? I have fans, everybody like Renato. Laranja. Now, my brother, it's good to see you. Because I haven't seen you in a long time. I mean, look for you everywhere. People say, I seen that guy Vinny Magalhães. I say, I don't know where he's been. They say that guy is a winner belt. I say, where he win that belt? He's a winner, he's a champion. Where are you a champion? Uh, in Russia, for M1, M1 challenge. Caralho, M1? M1, M1 what? He was M1. Same company as uh, Fedora Milanian fights for. Now, he fights for uh, M1. That guy, Fedor, he, 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 have, he have the same luck. I hope you don't have the same luck for, for the last couple fights. That's another story. God, are you fight in Russia? That's, that's very cold out there. Sometimes, yeah. Last time I've been there, it was actually pretty hot. And they had a heater like in, a, in, in the, the hotel, hotel room too, even though it was like summertime. So, you know, Russians are pretty like, they're like different people. God, I, you can say that again. You are, you are very famous in Russia. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but you know, what kind of didn't know me there? Like, everyone's pretty popular in Russia. They're not like as big here in the, the States, but uh, in Russia, they're pretty big. You, you, you gonna, you always big in my heart. But you, you, you in a country where the best thing they have, the best comedian they have is Yakov Smirnov. They haven't made something good that country since Yakov Smirnov. Who's that? He's a guy, he's a comedian. The jokes, they're not fun. I have better jokes than that. I have a joke. I'm gonna tell you a joke. I'm gonna say, knock, knock. What you say there? I have no idea. You're gonna say, who is there? Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Hey, Laranja. Laranja who? Hey, Laranja, you glad I didn't say banana. It's not fun at all, dude. That's not fun at all. That's because that's American humor. Oh, and okay. you still like a savage, you're coming from the Amazon. I'm from Rio actually, like it's a different like, you know, part of the country. That can be even worse. I'm so gonna nice. tell you, I've been here for some time, I know how everything works. You still have a thick accent. Everybody, I'm acclimated to the country. You did? Uh, yeah, I can tell you, accent's a little bit better. Than you can, you can ask anybody. Uh -huh. Now, I'm here, I'm here, uh, to, to interview you, to ask you why you study with that guy. That guy, you know who, who I'm talking about. That guy, he's high off the drugs. That guy smoking heifer. He smoking penis blood. I, I don't feel like Charlie Sheen. Now you being a funny guy. No, I'm being you, I will say a joke, now you gonna say a joke? Everybody understand, that's funny. But now I'm in chalk serious. Now you you training with a smoke serpent. Is that like Eddie Bravo? That's Eddie Bravo. You know, like uh, I no, I'm one of, the, one of the like few guys that you know like to change like styles. Not really change styles, but I like, mix things up. And and um, you know, I came from like a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background, but I don't think that you know grappling is just like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So you know, I like to learn like sambo leg locks. I explained that before actually, like in different like in interviews. You uh, like to learn from a sample? Yeah, like that, that's, they have like that, I, mean, I mean not that terminology. That's, that they consider that racist. 
We don't call them a symbol. We don't call them a Negro. They call them a black. I don't know where you come from. You, you very like you. You need to learn to be sensitive. Maybe because you, you train first in Nogueira, that guy don't like it. Don't like it. They, they, they don't like fruits. Uh, the guy say he don't like a faggot. Or they call it. Or their proper name is a faggot. Is a homo. Is a homo sapiens. I don't know. I I'm gonna let you finish, but they don't call the black guys a symbol. No, I didn't call it the black guy. Like I said, like it's a style, like yeah, rapper like, style. Everybody we have on the camera to see. Is a sambo, like Russian sambos that work better? That's a black, black Russian. There's it's, no it's black better, Russians. No better black. way to say that. But uh, anyway, so I, 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 I'm not, I'm not one to, to argue. I'm not worried, bro. Like, I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, the, the thing is, you train. You start with Hoyle. Actually, it, it was like under Hoyle's school, but you know. He was one of my, he was a pretty much a part-time instructor, he was not my full-time instructor, so, you know. I came like from his school, his school like he just started. Part-time part Hoyler. Because he would be at the gym almost twice a week, like, so he's not like a full-time instructor. My full-time instructor is, is Vinny Ayeta, who like, you know, who pretty much taught me every day. I know, he, I know, I know, I know who is Vinny Ayeta. I'm talking about Hoyler Gracie. What about him? And the guy, a part-time Hoyler Gracie. Is it better than full-time Edge Bravo? can do some high guard. What do you mean? <laughs> Got it. I mean, you know, there's no such thing as better. Uh, the only thing I can remember, like, if you're gonna compare the two guys, it was a match like in Abu Dhabi in 2003. And who won that match? Did you watch it? I mean, I mean, remember a match, call me, 1989. Take place in Japan. Who is that guy? You see, Mike Tyson and the... Oh, that's right. Buster Douglas. Then afterwards they give that guy a Sega game. Called the Buster Douglas Boxing. Where you see Buster Douglas now? He's nowhere to be found. Maybe he's he fights in Russia. But then the Maybe one, he's a fight for M1. But what, what happened to Mike Tyson? Did he take the second fight? Mike Tyson is a legend. Did he take the second fight? And we find out that we only have it. My producer say we don't have more time. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, Hoyler didn't take a second match against, against I mean, Eddie, and Eddie offered the match. I mean, so hear, I mean, hear the music. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you back. And we're gonna continue. Have always a pleasure to have you. That's all right, but you know, you didn't answer my question. I like. I see you make yourself very comfortable. Look how you sit. <laughs> I see you. You like to make yourself very at home. And I don't know what to teach you in Russia, but you, you always my brother. That's right. God, I. Oh, no, I'm not much hug. You know, I'm like no girl, like in that thing. Oh, you don't like to hug? I don't like hug guys. We in Hollywood, not West Hollywood. That's all right, but you know, I'm in Brazil. It's like a born again. say about like you know, guys like, hugging each other. It's like you don't do that kind of shit. You know, not in Brazil. You're from Brazil, you should know. I know. I know, my brother. You know, you're getting weird since you're like you came to this country. A little weird, especially you know, like. We wanna leave it at that. that. I know you know that I know. Yeah. I know that you know that I know and that you know. So do I. Just make it simple, yeah. I'm hover. And you're like the glue. And then what I'm say for me. And then this the same go for you? No, it doesn't. The same doesn't go for me. It's a little different. So funny, dude. <laughs> the fuck is turning me like that? He looks a little like homoish. You've never had a man look you like that and look through your eyes and look for your soul. I, I have guys like looking at my eyes, like, like you know, trying to like mad dog me, but not like. I mean, in not a sexual mad, way. I mean, not a mad dog. <laughs> but I'm a dog who is go after a bone. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right, dude. How can a dog, a dog never goes after bones? That sounds like, sounds gay too. It take you one, it you know one. And I think you are gay instead. 
and you're That's the right. one. You're the one who who influenced me to light some some candle. And if it was not for me, you would have me push some incense. I mean, you know, like I was the one who set this up. And you were the one who set it up, so that makes you, you know, the weird one. Vinny Magalash, you asked me to put some Keith Sweat. That girl's take away that system, so I can't play. What was gonna happen? Then next comes some shadow. I'm, I'm a hip to your game. Uh, that's right. But you know, I didn't bring everything that I said. Where's the fucking mattress in the KY? That's not for me, dude. That's not for you. Let me finish with you. <laughs> that's all right. This next one is going to be working a drill off Jew Claw. And what we're finding out from Jew Claw lately in MMA is that people are getting them. They're not finishing, and the omoplatas are uh, rare. The finish is rare. But people are getting there, and we, we're learning that it's a very good, at least you can control a guy here for a while. We're learning that. Paul Daly. He ended up in Jew Claw in his last fight. He was controlling him. He was Where are we going, Shigaki? <laughs> meeting, meeting with Aoki. What was that speaker? What's that? What'd you say? Meeting with Aoki. Aoki, yeah. Walking over to Aoki's gym. <laughs> Do a little interview. Apparently, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what's up. <laughs> this should be interesting. That's my boy. Shigeki. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Camera. <laughs> oh shit. That's the man right there. <laughs> He's asking what happened to your eye? Yeah. I mean, no, no, he, he knows. Oh, you he heard? Yeah. Or after that fight, his face is fucked up. <laughs> That was pretty insane, man. <laughs> Me and Shinye kicking it after five years. What a fucking trip, man. <laughs> he loved double baggers. He loved the sorcerer. <laughs> uh, the sorcerer in MMA is gonna happen soon. Watch, watch. MTS bonus technique with 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt, Denny Prokopos. So I, I, I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to get the hand to the mat and then after we get the hand to the mat we're going to go to uh, it's a rolling monoplata but I call it rolling thunder so like, when I'm yelling it out to someone to do it's not like do the rolling monoplata because they know what's coming so say rolling thunder so Kate come here so yeah. 